Uh, actually, we talked a little bit about this yesterday, but it's good to talk more you? about it. Well, no, because, I mean, I know you're quite in with some of the royals, and this is the Queen's loyal dresser um, being banished from Windsor, from the Windsor estate, because she's a working-class lass from Liverpool. Well, she's gone, and she's, she's gone up north, um, not to Liverpool, but I think somewhere up near there. And I think, you know... That's fine. We don't know. That maybe is what she wanted. But I do think there is a, a you know, I, I remember the Queen Mother had her main page was uh, ran the Queen Mother's life. And when she died, he was ousted from the royal family. And yet he'd been so keen uh, in that relationship with the Queen Mother. And they, all the royal family adored him for that. But there suddenly comes a point where when that person passes away, then they're forgotten. Mm. And I think that is often, and if that, we don't know if that, how true that story is in this, but Sarah Fine is a, is a, is a brilliant journalist, and I'm sure she has written uh, what, what she thinks is right. And I, I, I think if it's true, it's not good news. Mm. Because this is, you know, the, the Queen, uh, this, she worked for the Queen for quite a 30 odd years, I think. Mm. And to be banished like that is just terrible. I mean, you know. It makes you wonder if um, they're always going on about diversity. We need more people from certain backgrounds. But the working classes, there seems to be many working class people knocking around the royal family. That's the kind of diversity that we do need. Yeah, I, I agree with you. I think we do. And of course, then, you know, the, I think the Queen's secretary is suddenly given an award mm. rather than banned from his, you know, house. I think he's still living in Windsor. Mm. I mean, it's, it's, it's difficult, you know, just but to get rid of someone that was so loyal to the Queen, mm. I think is wrong.